Yeah, Colin, Mike Anthony. Smart. Introducing first. Well, Mike Anthony. Yeah, that's Mike Anthony. Making his way from Queens. Steve Gardner. Weighing in at 200 pounds. He's actually to advise you that he's not crazy. I'm not crazy. He's Mike Anthony claiming that he is not crazy. And William Wyatt, you've worked with a lot of crazy people. What's your diagnosis here? I mean, the poor guy, Jalen left him and, you know, he kind of... No, no, this is, this is Mike Anthony. This is Mike Anthony, not Latin American megastar Mike, uh, Mark Anthony. This is, this is Mike. Uh, yeah. I, I believe he was dating a Janet uh, and not a Jennifer. Holiday. I, I don't have the, the details. I, I, this is just rumor. I didn't see the little young lady. <laughs> Kyle Angus comes out a house of fire after the family bridge has been burned down. You saw it just a few weeks ago. Kyle Angus betrayed by his cousin, Joe Scott, perpetrated by classic Mikey D. I don't like that guy. Well, oh, get in line. Well, why is he want to fight for Scotland? Because he's Scottish. Is that really just the reason? I, I, I would assume so. I don't think anyone likes Haggis that much. You know, you really could never trust a man in a skirt. That, that's a kilt, sir. And oh, questioning the... the the psychiatric stature of Mr. Anthony. I've found in my life when uh, someone says they're not crazy. You tend to believe me. A little bit. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. whoa. Well, that, that, that might not be smart for Kyle Angus if this crowd continues to have to the dossier you know, of Mike Anthony. The mental health state should be taken a little bit more seriously. And, you know, delicate hands. You know, I thought we were a more woke country now. I, I don't know if we're a woke country per se. That's that's for a separate program. <laughs> Check the boots twice is always how I say. Mike Anthony demanding that the bell be rung. Ring the bell. And there it is. Oh! Mike Anthony going right to it, right to the chest, right to the face, alternating the beat down in between. And he may not be crazy, but he's breaking the rules. He's not breaking it. But, uh... <laughs> oh! Kyle Angus! Putting some full relish on those strikes. Are they open handed? Yeah. Oh, the officials got to get some separation. Oh! Mike Anthony taking total advantage. Good throw thrust. Yeah, but that's not legal, Will. Good. And great agility showcase by both competitors. But there's a deep arm drag. And he's going to follow it up. And big, and I mean big drop kick. Great follow up to the cover, but the official in a bad area. I blame Scott. You blame what? Scott. What, oh, what does Scotland have to do with this, sir? Thank you. Brought it up. Gotcha. See, you never stick your head out the like that. Why, why is that, Mr. Wire? Kicked in the chest. And things like that could happen. A total ricochet neck breaker. And shoots a half, shoots a half. One, two. There's a two. I've always wanted to see a match with cumulative falls. Like, you know, you get you down for two, then I only have to for one. I, I, I don't think. Uh, why are you trying to reinvent the wheel, as someone says? I mean, every other thing. Mike Anthony in total control of this situation now here on Overdrive as he takes on Kyle Angus, Sean Ortiz, William Wyatt, bringing you singles competition and more in the coming weeks. See, it's a good job. You get someone to rape across the Sit up. You want to lean your weight into someone. Make them do all the work. That's a great example because you saw him bridge up and then back down on that chin lock. 
Well, the crowd in Teaneck here reminding Mike Anthony that he is crazy, but he's still in control. No, no, no. Look at Agnes. Quickly goes for that roll up and gets a brief moment to breathe. But again, Anthony staying on him like a crazy person would do. Big slam. Huh? Have you seen a clinical diagnosis? Uh, I don't have one in front of me. So that's very rude of you. Well, that's, I, I think there's enough evidence here to make such an assumption. No, I mean, his shirt says he's not, and... But I mean, his behavior says he's a little erratic. I mean, the shirt says he's not crazy. It's, it's giving me major Tommy Lee Jones under siege vibes, this whole thing. I prefer Tommy Lee Jones. What? Well, that's, well, it is the better of the two films. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, putting a boot to him like his name, Sean Gimbel. Oh, right between the shoulders. And he's got to stay on top. Really There's a two count. A little lucky days ago on the cover. Mr. Wife, you sound a little biased. Are you trying to form an alliance with Mr. Anthony? Am I going to be broadcastless very soon? Are you trying to get back in there? I am not teaming up with a crazy person. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just called him crazy. That's not. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think you did. Pretty sure that's what I heard. Nah, I think it As Angus gets out of the straight jacket hold, which is what Mike Anthony. Wait, wait! Angus, Angus was reaching for the tag. Were you gonna say he blocked the straight jacket? No. Well, yes. Angus trying to go for the tag, as if his partner is there. Oh, you gotta believe that mentally, and Angus. Mike Anthony's the crazy one. Well, mentally, Angus still thinks he's in a tag team. He's still feeling the betrayal. The betrayal of his, his cousin. So get a therapist. There it is. Oh, but Angus. Now Angus gets back up. Angus back in control. Totally refocused and staying right on Mike Anthony. You can tell he is feeling it from that Mike Anthony hold, a.k.a. the straight jacket submission. And oh. He put his head down. That was the first mistake. Angus still got some life left as Mike Anthony and his personalities get rocked. Oh, spinning forearm. And both men are going to take a moment. Awesome match. Awesome singles competition. We are seeing totally new sides of both competitors. Are you saying there's multiple sides to Mike Anthony? Say again? Are you saying there's multiple sides to Mike Anthony? I'm, I'm saying that he's a little split. Angus is up. And Anthony again went for that straight jacket. He's got it tightly applied. Oh, rips the cord and takes Kyle's head off. One, two, three. <laughs> Mike Anthony took total advantage of the fact that Kyle Angus for several moments of the match, thought he was a tag team once again, longing for his cousin, for honor, for bravery, for Scotland. But all that did was take Mike Anthony down a crazy path to victory. Very I, impressive. I don't think the guy's crazy. Maybe crazy like a fox. I, I think you just admitted that he's crazy. Uh, maybe you witty. If nothing else, Sean Ortiz, the extreme entertainer, William Wyeth, we are bringing you all this coverage and more. Mike Anthony, best Kyle Angus in singles competition. We have this and so much more coming up on Overdrive. And our next contest is scheduled for a windfall. But introducing first, making his way from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 87 cool grams, is Dr. Cool Jay Clyde. So we have Dr. Cool this week. Dr. Cool, that's right, Dr. Cool. As opposed to uh, Dr. Evil? Or no, he's, he's Dr. Dr. Cool. No, he's Dr. Cool. Does he know the other doctors? Are, are you kind of Absolutely, concerned? he has the Book of Cool with him. Uh, of course, his, his, his real name is Jay Clay Cool, uh, and he's Dr. Cool, and he graduated from Cool College. Um, this is the master's. 
What? Yeah, it's a Masters. And to the point where he's a Dean, he has the Book of Cool with him. The Saints of Brutality has arrived. Someone who has not seen a doctor in quite a long time. Well, how do you know that? You think any doctor in their right mind would see Brawley? Brawley is legalized insanity, if nothing else. As he's looking to lay into Dr. Cool and totally dismantle the Coolograms. Did he get that shirt from Goodwill? No, it's, it's, it's his shirt. Referee Jamal Jackson. I like that guy. You don't like him. Why, why is that? Jackson making sure the chain is not part of this contest, rightfully so. Why not? Because it's not legal, Mr. Wyeth. There we go. Wait a minute. Dr. J. Clay Cool saying that Brawley will be cool with those glasses. I, I, I don't know about that. I think Brawley's going to eat him alive. Oh my God! He got those from a kiosk. And we got a lock up here. Obviously the power's going to go to Brawley, but Dr. Cool, similar in size, in terms of height and such. I think the cool factor goes to Brawley too. The, the cool factor. I, I, I mean, I, I need to hear the argument for why Brawley is uh, is cool. He likes to keep a lower body too. Oh, oh, okay, okay. It's a mass index thing for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Where yeah. is? Oh, he got him on it. Brawley completely frustrated, and Dr. J. Clay Cool is going to take total advantage of that with his chromatic shirt. And he got another pair on him. How many glasses? How many sunglasses do you own? How many do you need to be cool? I don't think there's an actual number to that. Number one time with sunglasses on. I don't recommend it. Cool maintaining Brawley into the corner and again goes for the sunglasses. Is that a foreign object? No. 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 He bought them in New York, so they're domestic. One got a good roll up there on Brawley. So it's, it's okay to blind. And a roll up, roll up, roll up, we get a small baggage. You say it's okay to blind your opponent with an object that is not legal. Well, it's not blinding, the lights are on. Oh! Dr. Cool holding his own. I appreciate Dr. Stupid. Wow, the, the Ace Nation is laying it in thick. And Brawley soon will too. Oh, Dr. Cool now has got the glasses on. Watch out, watch out. Oh! Overhead belly to belly suplex. I hope Brawley rips off his leg. And why did the referee not check him for all these glasses? Well, you. Malik's I mean, on the take. You got You got You mean Jamal Jackson? Who's this Malik you're referring to? Uh, that counts as a racial slur. I just want to point that out. That you're labeling him as a different name. You know, the official is looking for foreign objects, not for glasses. Are you with me here? As Brawley showcasing that frustration on the body of Dr. J. Clay Cool. Jamal Jackson, whatever kind of names he wants to use today. Let's just give a name, Jamal Jackson. You went right to New Jack City and called him the league. That's not even right, man. It's 2022. You can get canceled for that. What's wrong with you? I was going to call him something else. Would you stop? <laughs> and right in front of us, playing choke hold on that middle rope. Probably choke him harder. What? Yeah, this is coming from the guy who called the official Hiawatha. 
What's next? You're going to say official LeVar Burton is out there doing a crooked job. As Dr. Cool tries to fight out of that, that cravat as applied by the saint of brutality, Brawley. Yeah. Up and over! Oh, watch out, watch out! Oh! Decapitating! Dr. Cool with that leg! Well, after that leg drop, he's going to see all the colors of the reading rainbow. The official's ready. One, two. Slow count. Ref Mel Carter in great position for that two. I'm sorry, Jamal Jackson. You see what you started? Jamal Jackson, of course, your official in this contest. Front face lock. And beautiful. In its simplicity, so effective. Jackson stole the glasses in the sun gas hut and gave them to Dr. Cole. That's what happened. Now you're profiling. I'm just stupid. Oof. We are seeing Dr. Cool being cut up here. The Coolograms and the Adams being demolished. Oh, he's not a, a medical doctor. You're saying he's a, he's a doctor of science. Yes, yes, he's Dr. Cool. What, did you, what kind of doctor you thought he was? A doctor of ambience? My, my mistake. And Cool gonna try, and I mean try to best Brawley, but he got caught. Down goes Dr. Hofstetter. And we have breached a threshold here. Are we looking last? One, two. Jamal Jackson lets us know that it's a two. I just want to know how many kaleidoscopes he had to discover to get that shirt. Seven. That's much less than I thought. I mean, he only found one. The the one. You mean Jamal Jackson? The, 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 uh, this this profiling, this profiling cannot continue at my table. All right. Oh! Folded up like an accordion is Dr. Hofstetter here. Dr. What? Hofstetter. Dr. Hofstetter. Okay. Is there a doctor in the house? Dr. Dr. Cool is not looking too hot right now as we are seeing the beginning of the end. Perhaps the house of the rising sun coming down. And here we go. Beginning of the end. You got it. Whoa! There's still a little bit of fight left in the molecules of Dr. Cool as he gets out of that fireman situation and gets taken down. Uh, I guess I could choose the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. It's like the crowd from WWE Warzone on PlayStation 1 with all these call-outs here. The official at three. Up four. Four. Brawley is up first. Going right to the head game with the strike. But Dr. Cool still fighting out of it. He's not going to get Brawley off the just for strike. No, but he's got him downed, or at least winded, if nothing else. Dropkick continues to stagger the big man. One more. That one's on the chin. Why, if he could be going down. Good poke to the eye. Oh! Talk about a rough ride! One, two! And a tight, and I mean tight two count there. I think Dr. Cool has a chance in this. Dr. Evil here needs to stay on top of Brawley. I mean, sorry, just really punching him right in the Adam's apple. Kicking him in the groin. But that's two that are not legal right there. Especially the last one. Win. To the top! Oh! No water in the pool. Yeah, the pool got drained real quick. I, I'm not a doctor, but that could be an accurate diagnosis. One, two. That's a two. Three. That is a three. The official gave us a three. Merciful three, the uh, Beast himself, the Saint 
of brutality completely dissecting Dr. Cool and all accessories. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yep. Bro, he's not done. The match is over! Oh! See? Broly helped him. With what? The cooler. What? He was already cool. See? Cool Completely unnecessary. Broly knows cool. Completely unnecessary. What is cool about assaulting a man? Professional wrestling. Supposed to do each other. Do you not get the concept? Uncalled for. Totally. On all counts. Yes, that shirt was uncalled for that he was wearing. Completely uncalled for that shirt. Be, be it as it may, Brawley picks up the win here on Overdrive. Sean Ortiz, William Wyeth, we will continue our coverage. Don't go away.